Well guys and girls, we're getting closer to the end of the year, and as such, a lot of good games are expected to come out in the next few months and even the beginning of next year, so I want to know from you guys, what games are you looking forward to, what games do you hyped for, day one buys for you, let me know in the comment section, let's go. What's going on all my gamers out there, it's that one and only x murder in peace, and today you guys are watching some more of that Warfighter dopeness, I'm using the social class with the HK416, got the red dot sight, standard barrel, standard stock, and suppressor. Pretty much the last um, setup and gun that I was using on my previous video. By the way, if you guys have not peeped out that freshness, go view that shit. I know YouTube sub, sub boxes if I can cover right? suck donkey balls. I know, right? I used that donkey balls joke again. But anyways, they suck really freaking bad. You guys get the point. So if you haven't seen it, go view it. But anyways... Let's talk about the type of the video, and that is, what games are you looking forward to, guys? Now, of course, with it being close to the end of the year, now we got a few months left, there is a good, few good games coming out. Now, this is usually what happens by the time the year ends in the beginning of next year. That's where all the good games start rolling in. And I'm just going to be going over my list of games that I'm looking forward to. Now, one of the first games that I have on my list is Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now, guys, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 were freaking great games. If you have not played them, you need to play those shits. One of the best shooters I've ever played, hands down. And I know that's a strong statement, but damn it, it's true. Play those damn games if you have not played them, especially Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, if DICE just pretty much you know, sticks to what the game is all about and tries not to change much or make it to a, a clone or a copy of these more on no, these more recent games then it should do freaking well so yeah guys don't make it into a call of duty clone just keep it to how it is star wars damn it and the game will be great now the next game that i have on my list is metal gear solid the brand new metal gear solid games that are coming out now i believe there's two there's a little bit of confusion i have heard that there one game like metal gear solid 5 but then i heard there's metal gear the phantom pain so i'm not really sure what's going on in that situation i'm not sure if it's one or two games but i don't care i'm looking forward to freaking metal gear metal gear is one of the best series i'm telling you guys i'm not bullshitting you if you haven't played Metal Gear at all, you need to freaking play. They, they got some great storytelling going on. Just storytelling that blows your damn mind. So, I already know. While even playing the game, that Metal Gear is going to be freaking great. So, yeah. That's not a must-buy game for me. Now, the next game that I have is Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, I already hear it. People are going to be like, A and B. Come on, really? Call of Duty Ghosts? Call of Duty is the same game year after year after year. Year, 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 year. I get it. But Call of Duty Ghosts actually looks like a pretty solid Call of Duty game. I'm not going to lie. I actually have been impressed with what I saw. Not to mention the fact that they're adding dedicated servers. Come on. We've been asking for dedicated servers for the longest freaking time. And now that they actually have them... It should be, you know, an overall fun experience. I'm sure Call of Duty is still going to have its bull crap, but, I mean, with dedicated servers, it should make some of the lags so much more easier to bear, you know, at least with the horrible lag compensation, you know, we may not have to deal with, with that as much. So, that's what's making me really want to try to get that game. Now, Battlefield 4. I mean, what more can I say? It's freaking Battlefield. I mean, come on, guys. I know you guys like Battlefield. I like Battlefield, so... It's the must that I have to get Battlefield 4. Now, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really been as hyped about this game, but it doesn't mean that I don't want to play it at all. I guess it's just been a lot of information coming out. And I, I look at the gameplay. I'm just like, yeah, it looks like a pretty solid game, but I haven't been like jizzing all in my pants seeing Battlefield 4 gameplay. But yeah, it's still going to be hopefully a day one buy for me as well. Now, another must-buy game for me is definitely Smash Bros. Wii U. If you haven't played any of the Smash Bros. games, you've probably been sleeping under a rock and need to get hit with one. You need to play these damn games. Smash Bros. is all around good fun. Back in the days where you really didn't need online to have fun, those games really did it. And, you know, it's kind of hard to hate on Smash Bros. So, I definitely got to get this one. It's a must-buy for me. Now, another must-buy is definitely Mario Kart 8. Now, Mario Kart games are usually the only type of racing games I can actually play. I really don't dig the whole real racing simulator games, although I did play a few Need for Speed games and Midnight Clubs, but I prefer the kart type games, and Mario Kart just does it for me. So, 
it's definitely a must buy. Now one of the last games I'm looking forward to is Sonic the Lost World. Now I haven't really been hyped for any Sonic games recently other than Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 but this looks like it has the potential to be a really good Sonic game and hopefully no, break the whole bad trend of Sonic games that have been coming out in the past few years. So, definitely looks like it has the potential to be a really great Sonic game. But all in all, those are the games I'm looking forward to. I'm sure there's some more out there, but I just can't think of them right now. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comment section what games are you looking forward to that are going to be coming out recently. Or games that may be coming out like later on next year or something like that. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new, do not hesitate to subscribe. Who knows? You may win a cookie, a bagel, chicken nugget. I don't know. But anyways, I'll be talking to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.